it's Chris. This week I want to investigate how to use 18 and 40 volt Ryobi batteries in parallel and how to make it so you can hot swap them. I built a bunch of power stations that use the Ryobi batteries. These three use more than one battery and my rule has always been to put fully charged batteries at the same amp hour rating in. Viewers often ask if there's a way to make it so you can hot swap batteries or put batteries at different charge levels in. So that's what these experiments are going to show. The setup uses two of the adapters I printed for the 40 volt batteries. Here we have two 18 volt batteries that are in series. I'm using two inline voltage and watt meters. I found these 85 amp 600 volt blocking diodes. The diodes get pretty hot. So I've got them mounted into an aluminum heat sink. For a load I'm using the Ryobi uh, 300 watt pure sine wave inverter with my little 40 volt panel adapter. I've got a 200 watt light bulb connected to the inverter as a load. When connected to the batteries, the meters show you the uh, number of amps, the voltage, and how many watts that are going through it. The blocking diodes keep the current rushing from a higher voltage battery to a lower voltage battery. The inverter is connected to the output of the blocking diodes. And finally, we plug the light into the inverter. Pushing the inverter on button causes the light to go on. And now we can start our experiments. We can also mix and match the 18 volt batteries and the 40 volt batteries. In this case, we have two 18 volt batteries that are in series using my adapters. With just one battery, it's doing about 200 watts, which is what the light bulb is. When the batteries are at a similar voltage, they seem to split the wattage between the two. With a full battery, and a partial battery. Uh, the one battery that's higher voltage is supplying all the current. Doing some tests, it looks like when you're more than a volt difference between the batteries, the higher voltage battery supplies the full current. But then after that, it slowly moves up to it until they equalize. It does hot swap over if I unplug the one battery. And you can see the other one picks up the load. And as soon as I put the first battery back, since it has the higher voltage, it takes the complete load. You'll have to decide for your applications if it's worth it or not. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please hit like and subscribe, and have a great day.